Good morning. Welcome to another day of I'll be in the barn. I told my wife Gina I was going to be in the barn this morning, so she came out here with me. She's going to help me put the motor onto the Bronco 2 frame. I just needed a little bit of help to line things up, so... Say hi, Gina. Say hi, Dad. All right. So we got this set up. Hopefully the camera won't tip over. The camera, camera? Camera while we're doing this. And uh, let me angle it down a little bit for when we get up here to the frame. I gotta finish jacking that motor up on that lift so we can get it over here. It's an exciting day for me. Can you, can you just give me a little information here that might, might make it easier? I'm trying to go straight in. Okay, I know, but I've got that. But could you tell me what you what ultimately where, where it's going? What ultimately, you get here? it's going to get to where I can set the motor down. Okay, and does That's anything here need part. to be considered about where this is going? This little That's going to end up right where your hand is. So shouldn't we look at this it's, too? No, that's where it's going to end up, no matter what we do. Okay. If it gets set right here, that automatically follows that's the going place. to be all lined up. Okay. So we say here, the, the engine's dropping down into this? No, the transmission's dropping there. In this the engine's going to drop here. Okay, this, so it's not even going to be anywhere near this yet. Right. It's just here. Okay. It just helps me understand more what I need to okay. do. That's all. There's a bolt on each side of the engine right here that's a mount okay, where I'm taking right. these nuts off. Uh -huh. Can I ask one more question here about something that might be in the way? I don't know if this is supposed to be, but I just look in there. Is that it's supposed to be bent right. like that? It's like going to be. It's going to end up coming off, but it's, it's not in the way. Now it's not in the way. It wasn't in the way before. I've had it there. Okay. Yeah. Take two. There. Wheel straight. That one's not. Should be. We've had it in there before. When I start letting it down, it should slide forward. Okay. Come down a little bit. Push it forward as you let it down. This has got to move backwards. This has got to move backwards. I think it's supposed to be just off the back of this. All right, we had to move. We had to move the frame back because the rear end was up on the lift and it was too high. So we moved it back just off the lift. If I'm correct in remembering, which I'm probably not, the cherry picker should slide all the way up to the edge of the lift, which is where I need it to go to get this thing to sit on the mounts. So we're going to try and get her in here again. Watch out, the bolts now. I don't see the, the mount. The bolts went up here. 
sitting in there. Now I just got to line up the rear end and see how that works out. To me it looks like it's about quite a ways off. I might have to make some adjustments in the uh, transmission mount holes to bring that over about an inch. Morning and welcome to another day of I'll be in the barn. Alright, today I'm going to do a few things I need to clean up. I was out here early this morning. I took off the uh, exhaust manifold, which I'll show you right here where it came off at. Obviously, <laughs> from the side of the engine. All the bolts I got out except for one, and I had to drill it, and I'm waiting for my buddy to get back with me, see if he's got a metric tap. And uh, that hole right there by that spark plug uh, socket, I got to tap it back out. I got it drilled out nice, so that's ready to go. The reason I had to take that, two reasons I had to take that manifold off first one is that I don't know if you can see that big crack going all the way around there all right and on the other side there's a crack in there and this end points kind of at an angle like this I need to get a manifold that goes straight out so that I can then put my uh, exhaust on there because where this came out it would hit right on the frame right there so I'm gonna get a different one and put it on and it'll be the right one the other side's perfect all I gotta do is run the pipe off of it and also when I got the engine all set in and bolted up there's two things I had to do this motor mount that I had the for the body on this side I had to uh, which is down there right where my finger is right here anyways down there in the dark I had to expand the hole down further so that the motor would roll to the passenger side a little bit to get the transmission in the proper place and when I did that the mounting holes for the uh, transmission mount were off so what I've done there and what I gotta finish is you can see that slot that I've cut in there or I cut a piece out and it's a little bit too close in the front when I drop the transmission down it the uh, studs hit so I gotta cut that off a little further out and when I do that then I'm gonna build a plate I'm gonna mark where the holes go uh, get them drilled put them up on there bolt them down and then I'm gonna weld that plate in or I should say yeah bolt them down then I'm going to weld the plate in on top of that uh, cross member there. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. I got the plasma cutter set up. So I'm going to try and get under there without burning myself too bad. I'll probably put holes in my sweatshirt and get in trouble for it. So maybe I should take it off and just lay on this old jacket. The wife keeps saying she's going to throw away on me anyway. So 
I might as well put holes in it. Clean that up a little bit. I'll go ahead and build the plate to go under there. Throw some holes in it. Well, I forgot to show you the plate after I got it made. I'll see if I can zoom in there. So anyway, here's the plate I made right here. Drilled a hole up front and one in back. I was going to slot it, but it fit in there so good I didn't slot it. So I got two holes on each side. I'm going to go ahead and tighten down the nuts on it. And then I'm going to weld it in. singer not me all right next thing I'm gonna do is I told you I need to put retainers on these springs right here when I picked it up and took it outside of course that spring popped out of there so you can see it's not quite in there where it's supposed to be right now jack it up move it over figure out where my retainer is going to go. All right, let's get to that next. See if that's going to jack it up high enough to pop that spring out the side. Or let me push it back in where it belongs, one of the two. Sure it will. Sure is a lot heavier with this motor on here, that's for sure. Yeah, there we go. About there. I'm going to mark that before I measure it. So I can see how close my guess was. Oh, you couldn't see me. I was looking in here where this is going to be, and I'm thinking that the center's right about here. I'll put a little mark on there with this. It'll be the center. I'm off by about a quarter inch. Not bad. the heck this is my precision measuring so it's going to be right one of these holes is going to be right that's the one that is the one that's going to be correct yep 
Cool. I don't like to spend a lot of money on drill bits, but this is a beauty. I think it's going to drill me a real nice hole, but it's still too small. But that's all right. I'll be able to see better with the plasma cutter where I want to cut at. Maybe. Just maybe I have a drill bit over here that I can cut that with. Yeah, wood, wood, wood. Wood. No, my steel ones ain't big enough. Oh, I know what I can use. I will do that. So, let me put this in the old drill. Okay, while you were away, my uh, camera filled up again. That's why you were away. I just ordered a bigger card because the one I had, like I told you, was a bigger one, and this one's a small one. Anyhow, doesn't matter. What matters is what we're getting done here. If you can see the pipes inside of here, what I did is when I drilled that hole, I went over on my new grinder over there and I just ground the end of the pipe so it's coming up to the top of this uh, spring tower right there. And I just got it tacked in right now, but I'm fixing to weld it all the way in. So, that's what I'm going to do at this particular moment in time. Actually, it's not hard getting old and fat. It's just hard to do things when you get old and fat. So I'm getting ready to do the other side, so I'll show you what I did. Good morning. Welcome to another day of I'll Be in the Barn. Today we're going to work on the other spring tower and shock tower. Uh, I've already drilled the hole. Um, I'm going to show you what I did with the pipe on the other side that I already done. Uh, I'm going to go over to the grinder and I'm going to grind the end of it down. If I had a lathe or something, I could cut it down real quick, but I got to go to the grinder and do it. So I'm going to go do that right now and I'll show you what I got when I'm done. Like I was saying, I don't have no fancy lathe or anything like that, but you don't need fancy tools to build a project. You just use what you have. So, like I was saying with this uh, pipe right here, I ground the end down. I drilled this hole. It's smaller than the pipe. So I ground the end down just to make a little shelf for it. And... So that's how it's going to fit in the hole, but from the bottom, I'm going to put it in the hole and then I'll be able to weld it up here and weld it on the bottom. Let's we'll see if we can get this bugger in here. It's up in the hole right there. It's sticking up a little ways. I can get a good bead around there and uh, get a good bead underneath. That thing's going to be solid. Get just tacked in so it stays straight. Yep. We look up. And then we'll get the bottom, which I think I was videoing on the other side. This is the tight side of my shop where I can't really move around, so. I'm just going to weld this up and trust me I am. Okay, I got that all welded up. I'm going to set it back down and mark my spot for my other holder that I'm putting on there. Just to keep the spring inside at all times. Alright, that's where I want. 
on the deck. Put that retainer in there to hold the spring. All right, I got this uh, retainer in here. There. So that spring ain't never coming out of there unless I want to take it out. I got one on both sides. Got that peg down the middle. It's going to hold it. So I won't have to worry about that. Thanks for watching. Until next time when I see you in the barn.